Well, I don't think the uh, war is going to end anytime soon. It's evident that the resistance uh, to the Russian invasion is quite formidable, uh, quite uh, exemplary. But nevertheless, the uh, Russian military power is so overwhelming that despite the resistance and despite getting all these wonderful air to uh, ground to air missiles which have been shooting down Russian airplanes, I think that uh, it's likely that Russia will escalate. Uh, the bombing near Lviv is a, is a sign of a new uh, sort of battleground being opened up. And I think that what we've got to really worry about is that alongside the military escalation, there are a number of other dangerous developments. I think the principal dangerous development has been the way in which China and Russia have been pushed together so that their, their alliance, which mm-hmm. has always existed informally, uh, is becoming more and more uh, formal and, and, and is becoming more and more dangerous in many ways. And I was a bit worried and, and sad when I heard President Biden lecture the Chinese as if they were young children about democracy. Uh, and predictably, the Chinese reacted by sending their aircraft carrier into the Taiwan Straits, giving essentially two fingers to Biden, but also indicating that their uh, formal neutrality towards Russia is in practice going to be uh, called into question. And, and I was talking to somebody this morning who knows a lot about Chinese affairs, and she was telling me that it appears that the Chinese are, are now supplying Russia with weapons on a fairly large scale, kind of covertly. So as long as that continues, there's a danger that uh, the escalation is going to be our problem for the next, you know, next, at least for the medium term, never mind the short term. Yeah, and I think you're right with what you pick up there, Frank, as well about the whole, you know, un- I speak often, I'm like stuck record sometimes on this program about unintended consequences. Everyone's got the same uh, intentions, which is, you know, this needs to end as quickly as, as you know, with as minimal impact on civilians as possible. And I understand the drive with the economic sanctions and things like that, but there are vast unintended consequences and pushing people into China is just one of them.